I think that, you know, this thing that my father went to jail and miraculously became Malcolm X. He was always a leader. He was always compassionate. He was always uh, a learned uh, young man. His parents instilled specific values in him and his siblings. Um, the importance of self-love, the importance of compassion, care, the importance of literary. His father, Agarvier. His father, the, the chapter president of a movement that commanded millions of followers in the 1930s. His mother, who was the national recording secretary for this organization, who made sure that her children understood their roles as human beings, as global citizens, um, and for the nation of Islam. My father, when he joined, found hundreds of members. And he thought, this is too much of an important uh, organization and message that we should have more members who want to know their identity, who want to know history, who want to know their relationship with God. So he turned this organization from a handful of members to tens of thousands. The income ballooned millions of dollars annually. Uh, they owned property, real estate, businesses, their own school that, that operated uh, and taught children with their own curriculum of accurate information. And so, you know, my father not only posed a challenge to others who would unfortunately be envious of his intellect, of his commitment, of his righteousness, but also to world powers who really could care less about their citizens for their own personal greed. And so I think that uh, anything that takes away from Malcolm and his um, his ability to organize and, 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 and all the things that he does is just a disservice to progress. I think that I speak on behalf of my family in this case um, when I say that I'm grateful that Cyrus Vance, Manhattan District Attorney, is considering to open this case and investigate who really killed our father. Um, I think I speak on behalf of many millions of, of, of supporters and followers in this country and around the world um, when I say that we want to know who, not only who killed him, but why he was killed. You know, my father continues to inspire this generation. I, you know, I always tell my students and young people around the world that this is the generation that gets it. This is the generation that has stood f truth to power. Um, they believe in our humanity. They believe in the oneness of God, that, that we are all you know, human beings with the same privileges and opportunities.